Hello friends, this video on squares and square roots part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. It's true. So let's move on to the next property. Now this is kind of related to this particular property that looking at what is the number at the units place, we can also decide what would be the units place digit in its square. Like for example, for the initial few digits, if the number has 0, like 0 square is 0, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9. So the, based on this basic squares, we can you know kind of find out the properties of all other bigger squares. Just see how. So if a number has 0 in its units place, then its square ends in 0. So it doesn't matter what number it is, how big it is. Let's think of a number like 10. So 10 square would be what? 10 square is 100. So any number which ends with 0, its square will also end in 0. Why? Because 0 square is 0. As I said, the units place decides what would be the units place in the final result. Right? So similarly, if you think of example like 430. So if you square 430, what would you get? So the value we do not maybe even if you do not know the exact value that it will uh, have but this number its square will definitely end in zero because the units digit is zero and zero square is zero. So therefore here if you actually calculate you see the value is 184900. So you see it ends in zero. If a number has one or nine in the units place then its square ends in one. Why? Because 1 square is 1 and also 9 square is 1. So 1 and 9 in the units place behave the same way. Be same way in the sense that for in both those cases, the result would have 1 in the units place. So let's take some examples. So let's say if you talk about 21 square. So what would be the value? 21 multiplied by 21 gives you 441. So you see since the number had 1 in the units place, the result also has 1 in the units place. Think of a still bigger number like 651 square. If you look at the exact value, it's 423801. Again, 1 at the units place. So what I'm trying to say is, even without doing the actual multiplication, just by looking at the units place of a particular number, you can see whether its square will have, what would be the units place in the square. So the square would end in what digit? If a number has 2 or 8 in the units place, then its square ends in 4. So you see here, 2 square is 4, and 8 squared is 64. So 2 and 8 behaves in a similar way. So let, let's take an example. Let's say 22 square. What's the value of 22 square? It's 484. So any bigger number ending in 2, its square will end in 4. Because the units place digits multiplied gives 4. 2 into 2 gives 4. Similarly, any bigger number ending with any uh, any, any bigger number ending with 8, its square would always end with 4. If a number has 3 or 7 in its units place, so 3 or 7, in that case, the units digit, then the square would end in 9, like 53 square. The value of 53 square is 2809. So you see, since the number ends in 3, therefore its square ends in 9. If a number has 4 or 6 in its units place, then its square ends in 6. So 4 and 6 behavior is the same. So you think of 14 square, that is 196. So this number ends in 4, so the square ends in 6. And finally, if a number ends in 5, then its square also ends in 5. Like 15 square gives you 225. So the number ends in 5, its square also ends in 5. So, I mean, you really do not need to memorize the rules. Now, why I told you the rules was just to tell you that, you know, this kind of pattern exists here. Why you don't need to memorize? Because you all know this, right? This part you all know that 0 square is 0, 
1 into 1 is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, you know this. Now as long as you know this, you really do not need to remember the rules because you know this. So whenever you are given a bigger number, for example, let me give you an exercise. Let's say if I say that you have a number 1, 7, 8, 9, 1 and you have to square this number. Now you have to tell me that the square of this number would end in which digit? So just focus on the units place. Units place is 1. Now 1 square is 1. So therefore the result would end in 1. So it is as simple as that. You do not need to memorize any rules. You just know these. Just focus on the units digit of the given number. So looking at the unit digit you can say what would be the units digit in the final result. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.